the world is too much with us, late and soon. Getting and spending, we seem to have lost our powers. Little do we see in nature that is ours. We have sold our soul, a sordid boon. Friends, don't sell your soul to the devil. Who is the soul? Now we know where the soul is. Here is this quantum physicist who is an astrophysicist. His name is Robert Lanza. And Lanza has found that the soul leaving the body. How many of you have read that beautiful book called H.W. Wells written a book called Holes in the Wall? If you have not read, read it. H.W. Wells, the fascinating book called Holes in the Wall. Or a book called Bridge on San Luis Rey. Bridge on San Luis Rey. It's a 1927 Penguin classic written by a man called Thornton Wilder, an American writer. And in which he says how there are two worlds, the world of the living and the world of the dead, connected by a bridge of human love. Now, multiverse is a theory of Lanza, multi-universes and our Sanatana Dharma, especially the Upanishads talk about multiple universes and so beautifully. And what the Upanishads talk is quantum physics. Asi no Vrajati Duram, Shayano Jati Sarvata is what an electron is. Nobody has described the electron as well as Upanishads. That is why I tell people, see, ultimately, Indian philosophy is the greatest philosophy. Indian philosophy doesn't mean Hindu philosophy. There is nothing called Hindu religion. It's Sanatana Dharma, ageless religion. And all people can, a Muslim can have Sanatana Dharma, a Christian can have Sanatana Dharma, because Sanatana Dharma does not belong to any God, because Vedas don't proclaim God at all. If you see Om Bhur Bhuha Swaha, Surya Enama, Surya is a Shakti, Om Bhur Bhuha Swaha, Agni Enama, Om Bhur Bhuha Swaha, Why Enama. What is why? Why is the lightning? Why do I do that? Prajapate Nama. Ultimately, I am doing it because I can't see that Shakti called God, so I am propitiating what He has created. What is wrong in it? That's the beauty of it. And that is what is important at the end of the day. And whether it's your doctor or anybody, you have the old Indian Sanatana Dharma which says, do you know what it says? It's all condensed in the Mahabharata. The Mahabharata is an epic, India's epic, which is unrivaled by anything. Odyssey, Homer, this, that, nothing. And in Mahabharata, Rajagopalachi writes a beautiful commentary on the Mahabharata. Rajagopalachi writes, I wrote, what is not in it is nowhere. See, what is not in it is nowhere. One sentence, that's all. That means Mahabharata has everything. It has passion, it has jealousy, it has hatred. It's, you know, after all, what is Mahabharata? What is what you see? What is Iliad? All for a woman, you fight a war. But look at the Indian culture. That girl runs away with the enemy in Iliad, Homer's. But here, Sita comes back to her husband, Parvati comes back to her husband. That's the difference. So, somebody said, a friend of mine used to say, Doctor, why read whole of Mahabharata? Just read two sentences, two words. What are they? Dharma Kshetre, Kuru Kshetre. Now, cut it. Dharma plus Kshetra, Kuru plus Kshetra. Rewrite it. Kshetre, Kshetre, Dharma Kuru. In every walk of life, do your Dharma. Dharma is not religion. Dharma is your obligation to society. And if you did that, you will all be healthy. A shishya went to a guru. He said, sir, I have come here. I want peace. I want peace. He was fighting. And the guru said, say that again. I want peace. He said, okay, say that without the I Want peace. Want peace. Now, without the pe want, peace. See, there is peace. What is preventing peace? Want and then I. So, let us leave I and want and live in this world as we. Thank you very much.